wild place relatively untouched by the hand of man. Vamizi is part of the Karimbas archipelago, a jewel-like chain of around 30 coral islands just off the coast of Mozambique, stretching some 400 kilometers north to the border with Tanzania. And Vamizi is one of the northernmost islands. At just 12 kilometers long and two kilometers at its widest point, it's also the largest island in the chain with long, untouched beaches, mangrove-lined lagoons, and rich blue waters. It really looks like paradise. Off the coast of Africa, there is an oasis, an ancient Eden where nature thrives. Rich equatorial currents sweep across the Indian Ocean and meet the African continent here, bringing food and life, supporting some of the world's richest coral reefs. isolation from mainland Mozambique has preserved its wild nature and attracts unique species like humpback whales. They travel thousands of miles from Antarctica to give birth and shelter their calves in these warm, protected waters. They are joined by green sea turtles who travel up and down Africa's coast to seek out these beaches to lay their eggs. Alongside them, more than 400 species of fish live on the sprawling reefs, endangered gray reef sharks being one of many who inhabit these reefs and deep canyons. Tessa is on the lookout for the top dogs in this food chain, sharks. Although there are some hammerhead and tiger sharks in the area, the most common shark seen on these reefs is the gray reef shark. This medium-sized shark is typically about two meters long with a splash of white on the tip of its dorsal fin and dark tips on all the others. Gray reef sharks are very social and are known to hunt in packs. Their favorite prey, the schools of fish that live in and around the coral reefs. What I have definitely noticed is the drop in the number of sharks from the time when I first came here to now. But sharks are in trouble around the world. Scientists estimate that over 100,000 sharks are killed every day. We have lost more than 90% of the world's sharks in just the last few decades due to overfishing. In fact, this is the last surviving gray reef shark population on Mozambique's coast. But thriving coral reef systems like Vamizi are directly in the path of the deep sea drilling. And the threat is loud and clear. However, even in this remote corner of the world, changes to the climate and oceans are beginning to have impact. And man's need for food and fuel is putting pressure on this delicate realm. It could easily slip away, but a unique partnership is fighting to make sure that that doesn't happen. 
Local fishermen and conservationists are working together to find a way to preserve and protect this thriving ecosystem for generations to come. And it's changing people's lives for the better.